Do you sell smartphones online with multiple color options? Or maybe you sell t-shirts that inevitably come in different sizes. Or maybe you just have an online store with products that come with multiple variations. Hello, I'm Kay from Brainstorm Force and today I'm excited to bring you this video about how to create beautiful variation swatches for your WooCommerce products. So if you watch this video until the end, you will know how to go from simple and boring product pages to exciting and professional ones. But first, let's take a look at what we're going to build. So traditionally, WooCommerce allows you to add variations, but it's not really visual. As you can see, it's just a drop down and then I can change the colors, but we can do better. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create these beautiful variation swatches that are way more visual and way more interesting for your potential clients. Now, for the purpose of this video, I will be using the WordPress Astra theme as well as the Astra starter templates just to speed up the process. Okay, so let's get started. Now, in order to go from this with a drop down to this with beautiful variation swatches, we need a plugin. And this plugin is totally free. So in WordPress, you wanna go to plugins, add new, and next you want to search for a plugin called Variation Swatches for WooCommerce by Cartflows. Click on install now and then click on activate. Now let's take a look at the settings of this free plugin. So for that in WordPress, you want to go to WooCommerce and then Variation Swatches. Then go to settings and here in the general settings, you can decide whether you want to enable for product page, for shop page, or if you want to auto convert the drop down to label. Next, click on the global styling tab. And here you have several options. So for example, here I can change the swatch minimum width, heights, border radius, the font size, the border color. I can decide how to display disabled attributes or I can decide to disable out of stock attribute terms. You also have many options for tooltips. And the beauty of this interface is that I can just change the number here. So the, for the border radius, I'm gonna put 30 pixels instead of three. Now, as you can see here, we have a tooltip that showed us it's saved automatically. We don't need to push on an update button. So let me put it back to three pixels and there you go. Next, if you click on shop page styling, we have some more options. So for example, we can change the swatch alignment. So right now it's set to left and I'm gonna show you in the original demo. So if I change this to center, so when the tutorial is complete, we'll have something like this. And now if I refresh, as you can see now, the variation swatches are centered. Now it doesn't really look good because everything is aligned on the left. So I'm just going to put it back to left. And same thing, the swatch position is now set after the title, but let me put it after the price. And now if I refresh, as you can see, our variation swatches are now aligned on the left and they come after the price. You get the idea. Okay, some other shop page settings you may wanna look at is whether or not you wanna show swatches labels and the attributes limit. So let me show you if I type two, and now if I refresh the page, we went from three variations shown to two, and then it says one more. And if I open the product page, then it shows all the attributes. Now this is done so that if you have a lot of attributes, you don't want them all stacked on the shop page. So you can decide how many you wanna show on the shop page, but then fear not because when you get to the product page, you get all the attributes displayed. Okay, so let's put it back to three. Okay, I was showing you this from the final and complete demo, but now let's go back to our initial demo where we still got work to do. Now, because we wanna create a product with multiple variations, we need a way to differentiate each variation. And for that, we're gonna add what we call an attribute. So with WooCommerce installed, you wanna to go to products, attributes, and we wanna create our attribute. It's going to be color and then the slug is going to be the same but in lowercase. Next you want to keep the default sort order to custom ordering and then as we scroll down we now have the variation swatches plugin options. So for this one we're going to select color and for the shape we're going to select circle. Now we can change the size but don't forget we can actually do this in the variation swatches plugin. So next click on add attributes and voila our attribute color is now created but now we need to configure terms. And as you can see here, you have a link. So just click on configure terms. And now we get to this new screen where we can add our attribute terms. In other words, we're going to add each color. So for example, red, and then once again, red in lowercase for the slug. And then I'm going to select the color that I want displayed. And next click on add new color. And voila, our color is added. Okay, so now I've created my three colors, as simple as that, but we ain't done yet. So next you wanna to go to products, add new, and then we want to create a new product. Now to speed up the process, I've already created a product, so just give it a name. 
and then very, very important where it says product data, you want to make sure you select a variable product. Next, you want to scroll to the tab where it says attributes. And then in the drop down, you want to select the attribute we just created, which is the color attribute. Click on add. And next, where it says select terms, you want to click there. And as you can see, it found our terms, red, green, and blue. Or you can just click on select all. And as you can see, it added all the terms automatically. Next, you want to click on use for variations and click on save attributes. Great. Next, you want to go to the variations tab. Now, because we ticked the second box, it automatically created three variations. But it says three variations do not have prices, but we're going to take care of that. Now, just a word, in case you don't find these variations created automatically, you can just click on this drop down and then you can select the option create variations from all attributes. But in our case, it worked fine. So let me click on the first variation, which is the red variation. So the first thing we want to do is upload an image. So let me click here and I've already uploaded images. So I'm going to pick this image. Next, where it says variation price, I'm going to type 999. And of course, we can add more details. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be fine with just that. So let me click on this to close it. And let me proceed with the green color. Once again, I pick the image that I want. And I'm just going to change the price to 949 for the green color. Okay, let me close this. And last but not least, the blue. Once again, let me pick the correct image and the variation price 999 once again. So let me close this and click on save changes. Okay, next as usual, you wanna add your product short description. You may also wanna add a product gallery. And of course you wanna add one product image, which is going to be the main image seen from the shop page. And once you're happy with it, you just wanna click on update or in your case, publish if you're publishing a new product. Now, before we move on, there's something I wanna show you. So if we go back to products, attributes. If you want to edit an attribute, all you have to do is hover over the text and click on edit. And you will end here where you can change the basic settings. But now if you want to edit the terms of this attribute, there are two ways. Either you click on configure terms or you click straight on the name of the attribute and you will end here. And once again, you can edit each term by hovering over the name of the term and then click on edit. Make your changes and then click on update. Okay, now let's take a look at what we've built. So we're here on the page of the product we just built. And as you can see, we have these beautiful swatches. And as I click on the different colors, the changes are reflected accordingly. And even the price, because if you recall, I put a different price for the green color. And now all we need to do is click on add to cart go to the checkout page, pay for the variation we chose and voila. And by the way, if you're wondering why this checkout page is different from the default checkout page from WooCommerce, as you can see here on top and here on the right, we got the testimonials, we got the money back guarantee label, but this comes from Cardflows. And Cardflows actually comes with free and pro templates. And if you're interested about what Cardflows has to offer, you find the link in the description below. Now, what if you have a store where you sell t-shirts or sports jersey, and this time the differentiator is the size. So small, medium, large, extra large, and so on. We would use the same process, but with a few changes. So in products, attributes, this time we would create an attribute called size. And if we click on edit, you can see that for this attribute, for the type, I've chosen label instead of color or image. And when it comes to the terms, instead of red, green, and blue, it will be S for small, M for medium, L for large, and XL for extra large. And now for variable product, if we go to attributes, we would use the size attribute accordingly. And then for each variation, we will pick the appropriate variation. So S, M, L, and XL. But this time we don't necessarily need images because it's the same product, just a different size. But of course, if we did want to showcase the difference in size, we could by just selecting the appropriate image. And the result is a beautiful product page with stylish variation swatches as labels. So if I click on M, L, XL, you see a different in price because just for the sake of this tutorial, I put a different price for each and every size. Now we could also imagine we have an online store with various artists. And instead of forcing the potential clients to open different product pages, we could have all paintings of one painter on one page just with variations. And as you can see, as I change and click on 
each different variation, the price changes, making it very convenient for potential buyers to see all the art pieces of one specific artist. And as you can probably guess by now, we would create a new attribute per artist, but this time the attribute type would be image. Then we would configure the terms by adding all art pieces for one specific artist and attach one image to each term. Then all we would have to do is to select the correct attributes, add the variations, correct price, images, and voila. So as you can see, the possibilities are endless. So if you followed along, you should now be able to create beautiful color swatches to help potential clients differentiate one product's color versions, or create gorgeous text swatches to help potential clients differentiate one product's different sizes, and even create image swatches to help potential clients go through a specific portfolio without needing to open various product pages. And by the way, if you need a text reference, we'll link a blog post in the description below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because it encourages us to create even better content to serve you. And also make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. Now, on a side note, we can't wait to see what you're gonna build with what you learn in this video.